Hello everybody and Happy New Year! I thought I would tell you about some new things that are going on in my collection today. Um, it is a very warm day here in East Tennessee for it to be January 1st. It is 75 degrees today. But tomorrow everything changes and we're getting very cold weather. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow night. So we're starting this year off very differently than we did last year. Last year we were in the deep freeze already and this week has just been so very warm. I've been asked by several of you if you could see a very close up shot of what I call foul legato, which I believe now is a no ID. Um, I've seen some pictures of some orchids that are very similar, but do you see how Foul legato, my foul legato, I should say, has these little um, freckles. Yes, she is quite the character. So I thought, I think that I'm going to move her into the kitchen before the deep freeze tomorrow night. I believe that that will keep some of the buds from blasting. This one tends to get bud blast because of the time of the year that it blooms. This time of the year, we're much more likely to have variations in temperatures and I'm just wanting to keep the temperatures and the humidity as stable around her as possible this year so I don't get any bud blast because it's going to be a beautiful bloom cycle. I also wanted to share with you what my white miniature no ID Phalaenopsis looks like when it blooms out. When I first bought this it was completely white when it bloomed and now it's got this hint of peach on the lip. And let me show you this other one that is just starting to open. Do you see how this one on the right is slightly more yellow than the one that's behind it? This one is just a very unique little miniature. The blooms are all slightly different. Uh, the shades of yellow and peach in it are just really pretty and some of the blooms are creamy and some of them are very white. So this is a really pretty little orchid. And I shared a video last week about my Cattleyas and when I was looking at them as I was filming the video, I thought, look at all these roots. This is the, these are the roots on my Fal GCT Lawless Gloriana and let me show you Patrick. This is my no ID that I call Patrick and he has already grown a lot of roots down into that moss but look more roots yes these cattleyas love these western windows back here in my sunroom they just grow really well beautiful and here is definitely something new for the new year this is either a new pseudobulb or it's a spike. You know, I thought that it was a spike to begin with, but I believe that this growth is maybe a little bit too big to be another pseudobulb. I'm not sure, but we're going to watch it. But I haven't had, okay, I haven't had a spike on an Oncidium in probably about 13 years. So I'm really excited about this because it might be a spike. We will see. And you will recognize this as my grow room annex. This is my eastern facing window in my living room. Plants just thrive here. I, I love my sunroom. And this window is just such a great growing window. So I wanted to show you my queen of the night that Tammy gave me. I'm going to give you a close-up of this plant. You're not going to believe it. When Tammy sent me this, there were three leaves. And look at all of the growth. This, what is this? I don't even know. I've never grown a queen of the night. Look at all the growth on these leaves. It's just amazing. It's like it's just come to life. So I can't wait to see what it does in the spring. And I am hoping that this summer or this fall, it's going to bloom for me because the blooms on this are magnificent. I have seen pictures of hers and they're beautiful, but these have done so well. And a few of you have asked me where my African violets grow the best 
it is in this eastern facing window here. Uh, as you see, this is the African violet forest from that one clump of plants that Patrick sent me. Um, the one leaf has produced nine babies. That's what you're seeing here. And I'm thinking that probably this one, this one, and these two, they're probably going to, they're probably going to bloom in the spring. I can't wait to see. These have a beautiful, deep purple rose-like bloom on them. Beautiful. And the other thing, the other new thing for the new year is I've never had an orchid bloom with two entirely different sets of blooms on it, like this one. Um, in my last video, I mentioned I thought that maybe I had used seaweed too late in the bloom cycle on this, and several of you left me awesome comments about the fact that this is a harlequin type of phalaenopsis. It is a wild type of, a, of an orchid. It can have two different sets of blooms on it. Um, it can even have just the purple blooms on it one year and just the magic art the next year. I find this amazing because I've had this plant for five years and it's never produced those beautiful, charming purple blooms, but there we have it. Um, a new, another new thing that I wanted to tell you all about is I have changed fertilizers. I have switched over to the JAX two-part system. Um, Patrick has helped walk me through that and I am gaining confidence in using a new fertilizer after all of these years. The main reason why I changed is because I was having some problems with my other fertilizer as far as the orchids that I grow in moss. And as you all know, I grow about a third of my collection in moss. So if the moss doesn't like the fertilizer, then it's kind of like I have to change back over. So it's been working well. I have been using it now for about two months and I like the results that I'm seeing. And I will be sharing more with you about that as the year progresses. I'm gonna to try to get a fertilizer video out in the next month. And as I show you the beautiful new spike on my no ID Dendrobium phalaenopsis that I call Wilson, I'm going to share with you all about a new series that I am starting on Monday, day after tomorrow, which is January 3rd. Um, I am going to start posting a Read the Bible Through series on my Orchid channel. I have had a ministry group for as almost as long as I have done Orchid Whisperer. And I thought it would be, would be really nice to connect the two groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be reading about a chapter of the Bible a day. Um, it will be anywhere between five to seven minutes per installment. And I will be downloading those every day. I am so excited about this. Um, I'm going to be giving you beautiful backdrops as you listen to the Bible readings every day. Some of them will feature, of course, my orchids. You'll be able to see my flowers bloom every single day. Um, we'll also be going on walks. Um, I plan on giving you just some beautiful scenery to enjoy the Bible readings with. And I will continue to do my educational orchid videos along with my orchid tour videos. This will just be a new series. Um, so I am really excited about sharing this with you all. And I hope that you all just really enjoy this. I believe that if you like my channel, I truly believe that you're going to like the new series as well. And also, I want to ask two favors of you all, if you will, please. Number one, if you would share the Read the Bible Through series with as many people as you possibly can, I have a goal of one million viewers reading the Bible through with me this year.
That is a big goal, but I know I can reach that with your all's help. The other favor I have to ask of you, it's the beginning of the new year. And as you all know, I love to get requests for videos. If you all have requests for videos, please place them in the comment section below because I'm starting to plan out the year and I would love to hear from you all. So before we end this video, I just wanted to tell you all what a blessing you are to me. I appreciate you all so very much. My comment section is just such a blessing to read through. I enjoy hearing from you all. And I'd love to say the blessing over you, your families, and your plants on this first day of the new year. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn His face towards you and give you His shalom peace. You all make it a great day. We'll see you next time.